Cam, you're a big fan of reality TV, aren't you? Oh, mate, it's my bread and butter. I love it. Have you heard of a little island called Jersey? Not New Jersey in America. Jersey. I have, mate, actually. Today, we're going to be watching a TV show called The Real Housewives of Jersey. Now, this is like a franchise sort of thing. <sighs> They've got them in America and stuff, you know, where, where things actually happen. But Jersey is such an uneventful place that this, <laughs> this makes for absolutely painful watching because nothing happens. It is so dead. <laughs> It's basically like rich housewives of uh, this island where nothing happens. Like the only things that Jersey is known for is its tax laws and Chris MD. <laughs> That is it. I've never heard of this one before, by the way. I've heard of Real Housewives, but not of Jersey. It's literally so uneventful. There's two seasons of this. I have no idea how it got recommissioned. There's just so much culture and heritage here. Chris MD's crossbar challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's no tax in Jersey, right? I think so. I think it's a tax haven. That's why they have so much money then. That's why they're going to fill the boats and stuff. Yeah, it's basically where rich people go. Should we move to Jersey? Then we make it on season three. I don't think we have enough money for that, Cam. I think you need to be like mega, mega rich to get immigration there. It may be small, but what Jersey lacks in size, it makes up for in attitude. What the hell is so much attitude going on here? We do things differently on Jersey. Sorry, you can't say you do things differently, then someone just jumps in a pool and someone catches an owl. <laughs> That was a falcon, I think you'll find. It's called falconry, where you go like that and the bird lands on your right. It's a falcon. Oh, sorry. I stand corrected. Sorry. The bird whisperer over here. But that's the two most interesting parts of the show that they've showed in the intro. <laughs> that's the bit that they've, they've chosen to grip us. But it's never plain sailing. <laughs> that was the most politest swish ever. Just... <laughs> what was that? Wear my heart on my sleeve. Well, I don't know that because I don't really know you. I actually don't have the time to deal with this stupid conversation. I think you judge me. Yeah, I did judge That's you. Judge and actually, I'm going to be offended by that. If this is the level of bust ups, we're in for an absolute roller coaster. Did they just put the vine fud sound effect in? Hang on. I think you're the vision of. But on and up. <laughs> they just put the fucking vine fud. <laughs> Oh my god, this is incredibly terrible. I mean, we're already a minute and a half in. I think you can tell what kind of frills you're in for here. An elephant in the room. Oh my god, of course, they clear pigeon shoes. <laughs> Hate me because I'm naughty. Hate me because I'm cute. I don't think that's because they hate you, Jane. I think they hate you because you're boring. I am always realistic. I only ever expect miracles. It just sounds like they're all reading off a script. Like they have no, like they just can't act. It's like chat GPT's writing the script for them. In Australia, I look out for spiders. But here, I look out for snakes. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. You're on the Real Housewives of Jersey. I actually, uh, in Australia, I look out for spiders. But here, I look out for snakes. It's like a robot. I've always been a big fish. It doesn't matter how big the pond is. What does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. That means nothing. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Is this whole entire show just cliches? Just one line cliches? It's literally just like rich housewife type stuff. When I tell you I don't think anything happens in the show, I really don't think anything happens in the show. Would you like a rich housewife? What do you mean? What, what? Would I be happy giving money so my wife could be on the Real Housewives of Jersey? The Real Housewives of Birmingham? <laughs> I actually would watch that. That would be way better than whatever this is. That would be so good just like Susie getting mauled by an XL bully. <laughs> Where's the dialogue? I love shopping with you. Oh, and I love shopping with you too. You're so sweet. That's the extent of the <laughs> that's the extent of the drama in this show. I love shopping. I love shopping with you too. Brilliant. Sexy and classy. This is gonna be absolutely perfect. Is there anyone like below the age of 30 in Jersey? No. <laughs> what the fuck is this? We you already know, know it's Tessa. Have seen this? I am Jack Grealish. Hello. Guys. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> it's not the same woman that just went to our house. And we had a whole compilation of her going to our house. They set everything up to go to our house. Now she's just and left she just instantly. just left immediately. Immediately left. 
I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a PR guru, I'm a doctor in fashion. Well, are you gonna tell your outfit that, love? Oh, slay. It's sassy from me. Sorry, I'm just a bit naughty and cute. Hello, Captain. Hey, baby. He's an what? artist, he writes music. Who do you think he writes for? Like, Central C? Central C, or <laughs> Central C's producer. Tess, what have you got for dinner tonight? Because I haven't been to the shop. I've got us lobster thermidor, Zaki Boom's favourite. Oh, of course you do. Lobster thermidor, what is that? What even is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Isn't that the third chipmunk from Alvin and the Chipmunks? The green one. <laughs> My other daughter is Talia. She's 21. You might know her as Talia Storm. We don't. Why was she just gone? <laughs> what is that? The NPC dancers. <laughs> Four years ago, I launched the Jersey Style Awards. It's the biggest red carpet event. Have you heard of that, George? all 40 of its inhabitants. <laughs> yeah, of course I've heard of it, Cam. What do you mean? It's the Jersey Style Awards. Yeah, the headliner's literally Talia Storm. You get invited every year. I'm the headliner. I turn up in my finest black t-shirt, bandana, nicely ironed. I'm a no-nonsense, straight-talking kind of gal. And if you cross me, you will not forget me. Oh, shiver me timbers. Oh, <laughs> like Thanos. She'll snap you out of existence. That's why Jersey's only got 40 people. She killed the other 40. <laughs> So Tessie's been cooking like all morning, thank God. To be fair, at least no, we know now, no matter how rich you are, Colin Caterpillar always slaps. Also, why are they like all dressed in all white? This is like midsummer. It's like a cult. My baby boy's becoming a man and I, I don't even know how that happened. Well, you see, every time this, the earth goes around the sun, a year passes. It's done that 16 times now. Not in Jersey, mate. I feel like they run on like a different kind of time scale. I just feel like five minutes ago, he was running about with these wee glasses on. Well, actually he wasn't because as I said, it takes one year for the earth to rotate the sun so that's just not possible i like that they've got the always happy hour sign in the background the little live laugh live, laugh, laugh. laugh. <laughs> oh <geez. laughs> wow do you think Johnny's gonna like that? Johnny's a saucy bugger. I would be mortified if my parents got me that as my 16th birthday cake. I was awkward enough as it was. What 16 year old boy doesn't want a pair of boobs and a cake to look out for his birthday? Me, when I was 16. That's mortifying. <laughs> oh my God, they're on flames as well. Oh, I put a sparkler in each tip. I'm oh. so embarrassed. See? I wanted to get you a rubber doll, you know, so what the? <laughs> a rubber doll? Well, I'm glad they've kicked off the, the episode with a bang. I was born in Glasgow and now I live in Jersey. I've always been ambitious. I've always been hardworking. Why does she talk like she's reading off her CV? Because she's reading off a teleprompter cam. That's definitely what's happening. Or she's just trying really hard to remember her lines. These people don't know. Like, you can't blame them. They don't have any like TV experience, I don't think. Like I find it hard enough reading off a teleprompter sometimes if I have to. Yeah, we're both doing it now. This entire video is scripted. <laughs> Some people don't. I genuinely have people ask me if like these videos are scripted. What the collabs? Yeah. What is if like George sends like a whole itinerary of, <laughs> of every word before we record? <laughs> uh, the night before, I'm just revising all my lines. I am the most successful estate agent in Jersey. The only estate agent in Jersey. There's like ten houses. <laughs> I own seven of them. The Jersey property. Oh wow. To be fair. It's it's like Tony Stark's house. <laughs> oh my God, she's like a real life princess. Huh? Yeah, what? <laughs> Sorry, that, that was the internal thought. <laughs> There's always a commotion wherever I go, and I love it. Literally, no one speaks about her. There's no commotion at all. You're my most misunderstood friend because oh. you are so gorgeous. <laughs> what, does everyone keep calling that ugly? I feel so we haven't heard a bit of backstory here. Yeah, I need the origin story. The worst thing about the divorce is my son has been caught in the middle of it. She would tell you who she reminds me of. You know that Doctor Who episode? And it, it's got Cassandra. She sounds exactly like her. I don't look a day over 2,000. Yeah, she does actually. And what also, like she's saying she wants this to be easier for her son. So she's decided to broadcast it on television. Yeah, I want this divorce to be easy for him. So I'm going to tell millions of people that his parents are splitting up. Being real, Cam, I don't think millions of people watch this. <laughs> yeah, just the 40 people in Jersey and us. When it's all resolved, then both of you have have the power to go on. George, you're right. This show is absolute fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look away for a second, can you? It's so dull. Oh, it's it so lover. dull. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, fucking hell. What have we got in store? Oh, great. Kills ourselves. <laughs> 
imagine that it just does a 180. Margaret does a hit and run. We told you you wouldn't know what to expect. Who's that? I bet his name is Dave. My name is Ashley Kearney. I'm Jersey, born and bred. That makes me an original Jersey bean. Cut her up and she bleeds lobster thermidor. Born and bred. That makes me an original Jersey bean. Did she just say she's an original Jersey bean? Is that how people from Jersey describe themselves? That's weird. I don't, I've never heard that ever. We've been together since we were 17 years old. I married my brother because there's only 40 people on the island. <laughs> what are we doing with your hair? Blow dry. Buzz cut. Why do they keep like doing the same shot of the feet coming out of the car. It's getting a bit creepy now. <laughs> it is just a classic reality show shot though, isn't it? I think it's just most reality shows are so dull that they're just trying to get all the camera angles they can to distract you from how boring it is. They've done about fucking 50 shots of this house. <laughs> yeah, if anyone wants to rob it, they're in luck. I know this kitchen better than my own. Good for drink. What have you got for me? Lemon water, orange water. Orange water? I think something's wrong with your top, love. I haven't been out in such a long time, but I'm looking forward to hanging out with her a little bit more. It sounds like text to speech, doesn't it? We haven't hung out in such a long time. It would be great to hang out with her. Margaret's a great party planner. She's not as good as myself, right enough. Yeah, Margaret's great. Not as good as me, though. Most shade this TV show has ever seen in the 20 minutes that we've been watching it. Now the party started. When I had Jackson, I was diagnosed with diabetes insipidus and cholestasis. It was such a rare disease. Did they chop the children's feet off? No, I don't think they did. <laughs> She's talking about like an illness. You're like, did they cut the children's feet off or something? I put the wall. This is a deep moment in the show, Cap. Oh, wow. Show the lighthouse, please, again. Show the lighthouse. Do you think this island has a lighthouse? It did. It showed it like 40 times before. I've not seen it, Cam, I tell you. Not seen it. Do, they, do you think they have a harbour as well? If they did, I would like to see it. Yes, I'd like to see it another six times. Hello. Yes, Jin. Right, Love Jin. Nice nice Controversial trim. <laughs> Controversial trim. Lots of their male friends fancy me. They always call me the MILF. <laughs> <laughs> I twice before, but my fiance Andy and I have been together for eight years now. Oh, I said he was called Dave. Andy. Close. Very close. Since we moved to Jersey six years ago, Andy and I have been trying to find our dream home. And of course, <gasps> the oh, gym wow. and the spa. Wow. What the fuck do they do for work? Yeah, I know. They don't explain that, do they? How the like, fuck do you get to afford something like this? Also, why have they got a, a, a portrait of some boobs? I love boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody clip that. I do sometimes invite Andy into my room for a little chat. Okay. What, they don't sleep together? Wait, what? They've been together eight years, but they don't sleep in the same bed. That is some trust issues. He's got a little chair that he sits on in the corner. <laughs> it's just the cuck bench. The cuck bench? I think it's cool. You know, it's a, it's a whole new thing for us, isn't it? You know, we've got to... God, he looks elated. Never seen a man more happy in my life. He looks so miserable to be here. Andy, blink twice. You're in trouble. <laughs> kind of ticks a lot of boxes, I think. Why is he not sitting on the bed with her? This is so weird. He's not allowed to. He's just been conditioned. He's not allowed to sit on the bed with her. Only her boyfriend's allowed to do that. I don't know why it made it out. As if like he's a cut has been. <laughs> Bit of projection from George there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, she's a witch. I practice natural medicine. I'm qualified in acupuncture, kinesiology, and remedial sports massage. None of those mean anything. At least someone's a little bit out there. I even ran for government a few years ago, but sadly, I didn't get elected. If I did, the first thing I would put in place would be to legalize the medicinal use of cannabis. Way. Way. I just want to see her do a bong on camera. <laughs> a bong, right? Two sex. At the Jersey Fashion Awards, just. <laughs> Especially grateful to have friends like Jono and his partner Cisco. Jono and Cisco. My God, what cool names! He's named after a router. So, oh, um, Margaret's party. Are you going to bring Cisco along? So he's going to come as your partner. Sorry, who fucking watches this? <laughs> this is so dull. Who is sitting down, being like, oh fucking, hell, you know what? Let's whack the Real Housewives of Jersey on. It's a Thursday night. You know what that means? A new episode of Real Housewives of Jersey. I would love to see the viewing figures for this. One tiny foot wrong, and it can be the biggest of talking points. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, whatever. They need something to like kind of lift the show up. Like, I don't know, just put a bomb there or like just watch Jersey <laughs> just crumble into the into the shores and see how they react. They need they need something. They need to have a murder scandal. One of them, yeah. one of them gets tried for murder and hanged. Season three, it's just Margaret on a crucifix. <laughs> <laughs> There's an uprising of the housewives uprise against Margaret. <laughs> they put her on top of the big lighthouse on a cross. <laughs> it can be a very judgy place. 
Put one tiny foot wrong and it can be the biggest of talking points. They're acting like this is South East London. You know, here on Jersey, if you put one foot wrong, you'll get chefed up by the ops. These people must be like really famous in Jersey though, because you never hear anything about Jersey. So if these are walking around, like surely everyone in Jersey watches this, they must be so famous. I've never met Tessa before, but everyone knows her reputation. And when she launched the Style Awards, everyone knew about it. Yeah, see what I said, Cam? Everyone knows about the Jersey Style Awards. Everyone does, mate. You literally headline it every year. I know, you're you're just so ignorant you don't know about it. You're so in your own Newcastle bubble, you don't know what goes on outside of it. I know, I'm so uncultured. You enjoying Jersey? I do, yeah, I love it. It's just, it's a lovely place to spend some time after work. I might put this on when I go to sleep tonight. If you've got insomnia or any kind of sleeping condition, just, just put this on, it'll send you straight to sleep. My husband paints as well. Oh, does he? Yes, but he's very, he's like a, he's like a secret painter. Does he sell it? No. So he's shit. That's what you're saying. He's shit. He's so secret. He doesn't tell anyone about it because he's so shit. He'll be embarrassed. Always nice in Jersey to have new friends on site. They're too nice. Like whenever I watch, like I watch a lot of reality TV shows, there's always one person that everyone kind of dislikes or one person that stirs the pot. Then this show doesn't have it. Lighthouse! <laughs> Andy's coming along too. Although... That does mean I'm going to have to be on my best behaviour. But you can't flirt with anyone. Nah, Andy loves that. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's like, oh, do you want to bring him back and I'll sit on the cook bench? I love that. We've made Andy this cook guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably a really nice guy. He just hasn't said anything on the show. He's out the naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Please, can I sleep in the bed tonight? Is that all the drink? Is this like water in Jersey <laughs> champagne? It's just what comes out of the taps. It's Finally, party time. I'd turn up with a bottle of Ray and Nephew, neck it and throw up on the floor just to ruin the vibes. This is Bella Chanel Thompson. Oh. Triple barreled name for the dog. <laughs> Does she shout that when she needs the dog to come back? Surely that's so much effort. All I obviously needed was a slobbery dog kiss to get me through the night. That's a robot posing as a human. This is AI generated content. It's like Quibble Cop AI. Hi there. <sighs> Please, someone just start an argument or something. Someone just glass someone, please. This is so uneventful. It's so painful. Didn't we see someone swill someone in the intro? I hope that's in this episode. I pray that's in this episode. There's one thing being the life and soul of a party, and then there's another thing being over the top, and I really don't do attention seekers. Oh, okay. They've just been having, like, beef with nobody in these, like, solo interview bits. They don't say shit to each other. Come on, please just start some shit, please. Into an event like this. Oh, just cut her off there. Yeah, just scrape in like that. I hate the greeting voices. Hey, nice to be here. Should we start a new thing where you just go deeper? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be much better than. Hey, yeah. We have to see this, aren't we? Shh, he's a private painter. Thank you. He's oh, no. so reluctant. You need to share it. Okay. What is the point? He knows it's shit. It's like a drawing of a house. Door, window, 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 triangle roof. Oh, the drinks are flowing, the music's going. Oh, is she coming in up? No, that's kind of cold if this is if this is Kate. That's kind of cold. Bravo, Kate. You really do know how to make an entrance. Oh, no. No, it's the immigrants coming on their boats. <laughs> no. Here we go. It's showtime. But I guess I never really expected that. Oh, she doesn't like that. Okay, there's something brewing. We made by didn't make an entrance. Oh, you're too right. What a prick. I hate people like that. Oh, look at me. I came in on a jet ski. Fuck off. It's not even her party. Like, fair enough if it was her party, but it's not. At my school, right, there was a guy whose dad owned a jet ski. He owned a jet ski. He was called Jet Ski for the entirety of school <laughs> because his dad owned a jet ski. We should bring back that type of bullying. What, did he brag about it? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, they're not happy. Girls, listen very carefully. Seek respect, not attention. It lasts my- Oh! oh. Ho, ho. Little bit of gossip there. That's what I'm saying. I am speechless. All right, love, she hasn't killed someone. To be fair, this is probably the most dramatic thing that has ever happened on the island of Jersey. Do you realize this is my party? Yeah, I did. It's Margaret's party, it's not yours, darling. Oh! We both have other love interests. But love interests? What, what does that mean? We both have partners, but we're still together. Oh yeah, Andy and his wife have a, a similar arrangement. His relationships are a watch-only relationship. You know, like when you go to Google Doc and it's view only. Nobody is going to forget this party in a hurry now. Yeah, because you arrive by jet ski. That's the most insane thing that's ever happened in these people's lives, I'm sure. You're both partners, but you also have other partners? I don't think I'm going to get my head around this one. <laughs> 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 Live delivery on that does not compute. I'm in love with them, and I had the choice of either fighting it or just going along with it. What? 
Sorry, I have not unlocked that level of relationship. Are you all gay or maybe Same. not? Yes, of course they are. Three of us are. The other one we're trying to convert. To be fair, this is probably the most exciting bit of the whole show. It is. Um, it wasn't hard. Yeah, no, but... Here comes the eye candy. Have I ever not heard of you? What? Sorry, what? Two names. And one's Margaret Thompson. And I have another name, and it's called Chardonnay. I've forgotten all their names already. Like, they're referencing all these people. I do not know who's who. Oh, my goodness. If Chardonnay is coming out tonight, we're all in trouble. God, you know what Chardonnay's like. Oh, Margaret, my goodness, what a day. You did the Scots oh, proud. Girls. Amazing yeah. night. Thank you. Oh. I've actually really enjoyed it. Is that all the drama we're getting? Fucking hell. Cam, name one thing of note that's happened. The only thing is that that one of them's a secret painter. Th that's not even a thing. That's not a thing. We haven't seen any of the painting. <laughs> Nothing's happened. Because they're secret, George. Yeah, but nothing fucking happens in this show. It's painful. Just get up every day, put my armor on. I do that when I have to go out in Birmingham. Christ almighty, we need something in this episode. That if I was in trouble with Margaret, I would know it by now. At least this woman's trying. Yeah, at least she's trying to stir the pot. Come on. No one else is putting in any effort. Start a fight. Come on. Come on. Glassa. Just realised that this is the Tessa Hartman. Her daughter is friends with my son. And because of this bloody divorce, I think she's seeing him more than I do at the moment. Ooh. That deserves a bottling, at least. I always say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Do you know what? You're talking all this shit to the camera, but you're saying nothing to her face. Start something. Got work to do. Oh, come on, the music's getting tense. Something I've has to happen. I've been to talk to Tessa for a long time, and I'm trying to get the conversation going. Yeah, come on. Kill her. I'm confused. What is she talking about? It was my cue to leave. Time to go home. No, don't leave. You've talked so much shit. Please don't oh, leave. No, you bottle come job. on. You bottle job. Next time. Oh, oh fucking that... hell. Yeah. Seriously, that can't be real. That that can't be an actual episode. Nothing happened. George, you know when you told me that it was boring, I didn't expect that. It is so uneventful. It is what? painfully un Nothing happens. How did you find out about this show? My mate's from Jersey. He just told me about it. That is the worst reality TV show I've watched, and I've watched loads. Like and subscribe, and we'll watch another episode. No! <laughs>